are you? What's going on? <laughs> Man, listen. I'm just coming from the dentist. Just coming from the dentist. I had to get my little teeth clean. Listen, shout out to uh if there's anybody in the comment section or just watching this video in general that has ever had Invisalign. I'm thinking about getting Invisalign. Um the teeth that are in my mouth that I smile with. Very nice smile, very nice natural set of teeth. Um, you know, however, you know, I have been thinking about getting Invisalign. And um yeah, yeah, let me know what y'all experience was. I've been seeing a couple folks getting them recently on um social media. Um that mentioned just kind of like the first phase of it 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 can be kind of painful i guess because it's it's the first time use or whatever and they get a little tight but anyway i went for cleaning for just the you know my little six month cleaning so we do that in six month incre um, increments and so you know went ahead and did that and i'm actually um, where I'm at is outside of Chicago. It's a little suburb area. And I happened to do like a random little Google search to see if there were any spots that were like independent like sneaker shops out in the same very area. So I actually found one. And I figured this would be a good time to go in and check it out. So the spot is called Hype Town. All right. And I'm actually just a few, uh, you know, steps away from the entrance. So we're going to go on in here. Um and so yeah we're gonna check it out uh if anybody knows anything about me you know i'm not a not a hype beast at all not a hype beast at all are there things i get hype about you know in terms of releases and drops and are some of them drops that are common to other folks absolutely that comes with it but just generally speaking i'm not so if we go in here and let's say for instance they have hellstar or sinclair or something like that similar to in the other spot and i refer to the brand as something small is because i i genuinely don't pay attention to that stuff like i, I genuinely do not um so you know y'all want to educate me on something maybe that i you know i'm looking it over and i'm literally looking it over meaning glazing over it as if it's not a big deal and it is you know hey listen yeah, you know, count it, count it to my my heart, not my head, because in my head I don't really care. But in my heart, you know, I want to know that something I'm looking at is a big deal to some of y'all. All right. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because the last store that we went to that's similar to this one, if y'all remember, a couple vlogs ago, I went in there, I asked Buddy. What I was looking at, I said, is this a local brand? When I was looking through that little Hellstar rack, and he was like, they out of Philadelphia. So he didn't elaborate. So I'm thinking like, oh, okay. You know, it's just, you know, you're not, the small business representing a small brand, you know, you know. And, um, you know, somebody got me together in the comment section. Like, girl, that ain't a small brand. I mean, I ain't know, let me know. You feel me? He he didn't do his job. He was the one that was supposed to say, hey, they out of Philly. They trendy. You know, you might see such and such and such probably wore it. You know what I'm saying? I don't really pay attention to somebody, the brand of clothes somebody's wearing. You feel me? So, because I'm not, I'm not a brand whore, you know. I just wear what was functional. You know, some things might be a brand. Some things might not be a necessarily recognizable brand, whatever the case. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and get in here and see what they have. And then, uh, yeah, let's just check it out. Let's check it out. Let's keep an open mind. Um, I already just from looking in there, they got one of them little pay for play machines. I usually know what type of store I'm dealing with when they got one of those. It's Hype Town for show. Hype Town for show. Let's go. <laughs> see the uh, name of the store, the outside of the store. We walk into it now. It's like a little strip mall right here. They got a little game stop I'm tempted to uh, check out. So, but yeah, man, let's go ahead and uh, walk on in. I'll show y'all what I get on feet when I get inside. Let's do it. 
Morning, morning, morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good, good. I um, I was in town for my dentist checkup, and I did a little random Google search, and I found you guys in the area. Welcome in. So I wanted to check you out, see what this hype town title is about. You know. <laughs> I saw it is perfect too, as I saw you guys open at noon. So yeah. I was like, you know what? Let me slide on over there. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just kind of checking out. I'm blogging, if you don't mind. Just vlogging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So I was going to show you guys what I actually have on. So today is game day for the Chicago Sky. So I got my shattered got my shattered glass Chicago Sky shirt on. Um, you know, kind of like a baggy oversized tee. We got the baggy jean. And we got the classics. Sorry, love. We got the classics. Air up tempos, you know how we do, you know how we do. And get this, they're draped down, of course, like we at 96. So something about 96, you know. So we got the baggy jeans and the baggy shirt, like we in the 90s. Except that distressed, that distressed look is definitely um, the modern look. So we modernized it with the distress. Anyway, so let's kind of just Look around, we up against the wall, and kind of see in the store. Let's see. The inside. We got some good space here. Um, just trying to look and see if there's anything that catches my eye out of the out of the bunch. Right away, right away. Oh, got the Shy Town UNC joints. This pair I did actually want around the time when they launched, but I didn't, uh, I didn't ever grab them. That thing look clean. That thing look clean. Ooh, and it's a seven and a half. Ooh. Uh-oh. It's in my size range. I never expect that. A lot of these type of stores always had them big stumpers, but that is a money size, so I, that makes sense. They got the um, reimagined joints or uh, lost and found. More Spider Mans. This might be the first time I'm seeing bloodlines in hand. Bloodlines, right? Is that what they were called? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm messing up. They about to kick me out. They about to kick me out. Got bread fours. These are reimagines. Uh, got the UNC fours. See it, see it. Fire reds or uh, Toros, whatever y'all call them. Yeah, Jordan heads, get me together. Get me together, Jordan heads. He's the clots, right? Clots the dunks for the dunk heads out there. You know, size seven, one seventy. Not bad for a clot. Not bad for of course they had to have the pandas. Of course they had to have the pandas. What is that? That that was like the sneaker of the year last year. Oh, yeah, as far as a general release. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. Everybody had a pair. <laughs> At the Georgetown threes. Cherry cherry elevens. Great. Okay. Um, sweet, the sweet. Star. I'm gonna sip through some of those in a little bit. Oh, Hellstar. Uh, let me real quick. Hellstar. That's funny because I mentioned it because I did a vlog in another store like a couple weeks ago. And I asked Buddy, I was like, Hellstar. I was like, is that a local brand? He was like, they out of Philly. And I just ran with it. I was like, okay, cool. They out of Philly. I'm thinking they're like a small brand. Oh, yeah. And then somebody corrected me in the comments. They were oh, like, man. girl, that's not a small brand. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, it's okay, get me together, you know. Yeah. Educate me, you feel me? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I just, that's funny. That's funny. We'll, we'll check out Hillstar and we'll know that it's actually it's a big deal, you know. <laughs> They got some dunks, the uh, Powerpuff Girl joints. Um, dunk heads can let me know what that one is right there. And they got the, they got all the big steppers on this side, so. But yeah, they got a wide range of stuff here. Are these the Turbo Greens? The Turbo Greens? Oh, 
Haven't seen these in a minute. It's actually one of them pairs that uh, I slept on. Could have got them, slept on them when they dropped. I want to say those came out. I want to say those are 2017, 2018 drop. The Mama Near threes. So these are the big steppers. What size are these? Oh, this is a nine. It's not that bad. It's a nine. It's a nine. For some reason, that looked way bigger than a nine for to me. They do have their own um, prints here. Hype Town, the city of hype for sure. We know where we at. They got some Gotham socks hanging around here. That's a cool little, uh, you know, trendy thing to do. We know what that's about. Ooh. Look at the keychains. Keychains with the Jordan 1s. They got some decent little colorways on here too. They got some decent little colorway. We ain't gonna touch these. We're gonna go ahead and ignore those. Now, you don't see these in stores often, so they got the LeBron Laker Air Max 95s. I never see these in store, ever, ever. So that's cool. It's good to see something that you don't typically see. They got little uh, cabinets here for do not touch items. Um, got the little Yeezy lineage over there. I don't know if that's toys or what that is, pieces, whatever. Got the vape, vape magazine. Pokemon. I imagine these are the power cards because uh, they got them off, off away from the public's touch. Got the little Lego sets. That's pretty decent. And they for sale. And naturally, you know there was gonna be his own little section of Yeezys. For sure, for sure. All right, that's all we need to see. That's all we need to see. We don't have to elaborate on that. Be all uh, designer peeps. Got a little Gucci in here. You no know, little uh, little Burberry. I don't know what that fly is. You know, y'all get me together. Who is those Giuseppe's or something? What they call them? I ain't high fashion. They got some Kobe's in here. Some Grinches, reverse Grinches. Venice Beach. So yeah, they got some stuff in here. Got the little fuzzy house shoes. I've never like seen these in hand, so this is cool. <laughs> little furries. They got the little Dior's if y'all want to be at home and get fancy with the little. Okay. What does it say on these pants? Uh, Everything is possible. Okay. Some of these fonts have me feeling like I'm dyslexic or something. You know. <laughs> this is the pay to play. I saw. I saw this from outside, so I was saying. I can see the pay for play from outside. <laughs> the key master. Yeah. yeah. These used to be super popular. I want to say like in um like in 2016, 2017, kind of around then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. That's good. No, that's that's what's up. This is kind of where all the apparel is. Oh, and here we go. Hellstar, which is not a small brand. It's not a small brand. It's a big deal. Got the baby the ape stuff. So, in Bathing Eight, man, listen, that's been around so long. I'm super surprised, like, young people still rock Bathing Eight. Yeah. Bathing Eight, that was like the early 2000s when we were rocking that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at they got the little Simpsons, uh, cause looking thing in the corner here. They got some distressed jeans. Cool, cool. This is some green caps. Marshall Distress Jeans. They got long sleeve tees, got hoodies. Purple. Is purple another one of those type of brands? It's a popular one? Okay. I gotta start asking that now. Got the sweats. Spider sweats. It's cool beans. I would say what I noticed about like the trends, kind of like the hype trends, are just they're a little bit more colorful than than probably what would have been trendy years ago. So there there is a fearlessness with color to me. I think. What y'all know about Care Bear? <laughs> you know about Care Bear? <laughs> That's what's up. I almost hit my head on uh, on these shorts. 
The shorts almost awesome. took me out, man. That's the shorts awesome. almost. <laughs> I think I would go out like that, you know, um, getting killed by his shorts. Okay, well, y'all know, y'all know a little bit of some. Y'all got, y'all got the three. I, I count Kobe and Jordan in the same bracket, you know, because Kobe was a carbon copy of Jordan. So this guy right here, though, is number one. Number one? Number one. No, that's crazy. The greatest of all time. And then that guy. No, oh. that's crazy. They want me to ask y'all who, who, who's the GOAT? Bron? Bron? Or MJ? MJ all the way. And I know, <laughs> just like they said, most of you guys will say as well. I, I don't want to bore y'all with the rest of my they're, little they're rhetoric. More good in the end. They definitely are. Legends. Overall, they're all three, you know. Legends. Rest in peace to Kobe. Yep. That's why I was like, you know, let me see. I got some time to kill. Let me see if there's like a random place I can go to that's like an independent shop versus going to, yeah, you know, like Foot Locker or whatever. So yeah. wanted to check you out and uh, I like what you guys are doing. How long How long have you been over here? We've been here for almost three years now. Three years. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sweet. In, uh, sweet. Warren Park, Illinois. One five eight eight six South Bay Road, and okay. we also buy sell trade. Buy sell trade. That's important. You come in here. Obviously, you can buy stuff. You can sell stuff. You can trade. Now, in terms of the sale, is it a consignment based system with that? No. Okay. Yeah. So it's like real time sale. Yeah. Got you. Thank you so much. Now you got you all. Both of you were awesome. Thank you. Very very helpful and friendly and all of the things. Oh wait a minute before I go. Y'all oh, got yeah, go. Y'all got the space jams. Yeah. Now of course based off what I just told y'all, you know I have those. Oh really? I got. I do. I do. All, to get them. all three. Oh no. And even the 19s, which I hate. I hate oh. the 19s. I mean, if you're a LeBron fan, then you gotta get that. <laughs> I have to have. Them. So definitely wanted to check them out. I was near here. Um, works out better when I don't have to like drive all the way out here to just check them out and see what they have. Um, honestly, I didn't know they existed until probably um, a few days ago. Cause I was like, you know what? I got my little dental appointment and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see what's around, what's around town, get a little quick vlog in. Um, yeah, so just in case y'all couldn't hear me in the store, I definitely went 90s with it. So, got my loose tee, shattered backboard, Chicago Sky. Chicago Sky game tonight, baby! Which I'll be in the house, by the way, so. Um, got the baggies with the modern distress. Another look for the up tempos, and yes, the pants drape over. That's what the baggy jeans are supposed to do. That's what the baggy jeans are supposed to do. That's the look, that's the look. For me, in my opinion, the drape works best with the bulky, with the bulky shoe. So, I typically get these pants off when I'm wearing something bulky, like a foam posit, like something like the, the Air Up Tempos, a Nike basketball shoe, or a 90s basketball shoe, classic basketball shoe. Oh, and um, it usually works. I do see a lot of girls that wear them with like dunks and stuff like that, two and ones. So it's really no rules per se, um, but I just, for some reason, I just like the look of the bulky, the bulky shoe with the baggy jeans draping. Hi town, what y'all think about the little glimpses I gave y'all? So, yeah, man, it's, it's literally what I expected. Um, they got a little bit of everything that you would expect in terms of like trendy silhouettes. Of course, they had a whole, a whole section for Yeezys, which we glazed over for obvious reasons. You know, we don't really rock with, especially Adidas Yeezys, we don't really rock with Adidas Yeezys. Um, but yeah, I mean, they had a bunch of Jordans in there, of course. Um, I was very, I was very impressed with the uh couple of lebrons that i saw in there so yeah I, I i found that very very interesting space jam lebrons they had with the xbox kit so that's dope obviously that's an exclusive exclusive uh version of getting those as y'all know i got the normal release <laughs> those with the normal box <laughs> nothing special you know maybe someday I'll get maybe someday King James will, will make it so that I can give me some special packaging you know what I'm saying I would I would take that I, I don't really stress about having that 
but you know hey i ain't gonna say no to it I'll tell you that again it's funny hellstar <laughs> was in there <laughs> but this time when i heard hellstar i knew that you know hellstar actually is a brand that people care about so you know y'all just stalled me out a little bit on that i'm about to go ahead and get back across town get back to the city and i meet with y'all when i do that but yeah y'all let me know if there was anything that i, I glazed over that i should have paid more attention to in the comment section hype town they they, they made sure i was successful in there okay <laughs> all right let me get back to uh to the city i'll see y'all in a bit <laughs> We back in the city, we back at home. But anyway, this evening, I got tickets to um, what is the second home game for the Chicago Sky. So that's why I'll be going this evening. I'm super excited. Um, I intentionally got this ticket because they're playing LA Spark. So this will allow me to see um, Cam, uh, Cam Brinks and uh, Rakia Jackson, uh, as well as Angel Reese. I was thinking, by now uh camilla cardoso will be back but i'm gonna miss her by two days because she's coming back on june 1st so um i intentionally got not only this matchup but the date that i chose because um i figured by now i would have both my my shy town rookies my star rookies both on the floor together so but all good all good it's gonna be so super super fun I'll be courtside, so um, if I can give me some good little slots uh, in terms of showing y'all a little bit of the game and my vantage point, I definitely do that. Um, I'm geeked up because it's my first game of the season. Um, you know, I definitely had to wear my most recent pickup. Go ahead and get that going and Ariel Tippo. I didn't know. I didn't really have like a specific shoe I wanted to wear, so that's why I'm wearing the Pippins, you know, the the '96s, the Tempos. So I'm happy with my with my shoe selection. I'm going there to root for my girls and expect with expectations on them winning. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm definitely my I'm I'm looking for obviously Camila Cardoso's comeback, which won't be tonight. But I'm also looking for Dana Evans to to not only have that court vision, but be the scorer that she can be. Um, I think that because this this starting position is a new dynamic for her on the Chicago Sky team, um, there's some working out how to be most effective um, from an offensive perspective from her. Obviously, Angel Reese is doing fantastic. She's getting her footing, had her first double-double a uh, couple games ago, or a couple nights ago, rather, um, against the Seattle Storm. So she's doing everything I expected her to do. Um, I think from here, it's just, again, her getting acclimated to the pace of the game and her getting stronger. She's not going to grow anymore, so this is the size that she's going to be, but she's getting a little bit stronger down low and, um, and, and posting up and boxing out. I think in the commentary from the previous game, there was conversation about um, her being so used to just being able to jump higher than everybody or using her length when she jumps a little bit more effectively than everybody. And that's how she's been able to get those rebounds. But now that she's in the league, she has to go back to what the principles of getting a rebound um, entail. And that's, that's boxing out. That's boxing out. That's, that's the fundamentals to rebounding. Um, and being that she is a rebound master, she's always, and I tell people this all the time, the thing that people most ignored during her college career that I noticed out the gate and what made me love her besides her personality is the fact that she's always the most active person on the floor at all times. That's a part of why she's a double-double magnet. She doesn't give up on plays. And even if she has a bad play, perhaps she got a shot blocked or something like that, she just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, doesn't get discouraged by that. She keeps playing her game, which is a very active, hungry dog game. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited about this game. If I'm talking face value as it relates to some of these games and some of these players, it's because I literally, I can't really watch them carefully like I would want to because um, they're all on at the same time. <laughs> so 
we just keeping up but i mean my chicago sky that's all i need to to really be focused on anyway but check out a couple of these clips from the game and uh i'll see y'all back after the game after this dub peace Going city to 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 city to